Hello, everyone. It's time for Vanish Chicagoland Stories, the podcast. I'm your host, Pico Stanis. This is episode 152, season seven. Today's date is July 30th, 2022. And uh, thank you for joining me today. I have a very interesting show coming up. I will talk about uh, the yummy brand from Jewel Food Stores. Uh, it was uh, well known for its uh, uh, soda pop, soda or pop, whatever you call it. Uh, there's a big debate about that. Uh, I still don't understand it. I just call it what it is. <laughs> and also their ice cream. And then I will uh, do a tribute to actor Tony Dow, who passed away recently, who, who starred in the classic sitcom Leave it to Beaver. And I'll talk about his career and his, and my memories of watching him on the show in Chicago. Okay, and then uh, right now the com- the program will go into a commercial break, and this program is brought to you by Shasta Orange Soda. <laughs> and this commercial is from 1977. And the first person that speaks in this commercial, he might sound very familiar to you. I will tell I will reveal who it is. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So it's like a guessing game on these commercials. So here we go. What are we drinking, my lords? We're looking over an orange soda. The chance to the beat of the... You really should try it. The flavor's just right. Orange soda, just one of 14 great Shasta flavors. Oh, you're looking over an orange soda. The chance to the beat of the... Okay, everyone, I am back. I hope you enjoyed the commercial for Shasta Orange Soda. Um, the, the person that is speaking at the beginning of the commercial, that was none other than Barry Williams, who played Greg Brady on The Brady Bunch. <laughs> and uh, I watched this commercial on YouTube, and he looked the same as he did on the last season of The Brady Bunch, you know, with the curly hair, and and uh, he's very tall, and... Uh, He's a wonderful man. He's a wonderful actor. And uh, he did a lot of commercials. He did a lot of guest starring roles right after The Brady Bunch ended in 1974. And it went into rerun heaven. And it's still fun to watch. I, I watch it all the time. You know, whenever it's on TV. If I uh, surf, ch- uh, do channel surfing on my uh, TV. And if I, if I see a Brady, Bunch episode, a Brady Bunch episode, I will watch it. I don't know why. It's the same thing with Honeymooners and other TV shows that I grew up with. Like my number one show is I Love Lucy. I do the same thing. And uh, Shasta Soda is still around. It's not uh, advertised uh, often. I don't see it on television. It used to be... Uh, it was shown on the on the airwaves uh, in the 70s. And I remember the commercials and they had uh, a lot of flavors, like for example, uh, cola, orange soda that mentioned in the commercial. They had black cherry, ginger ale, cream soda, just like in the yummy flavors. I'll get into that in a moment. And, uh, you know, I've, I remember I had a couple times and uh, I haven't had it since, not since I was a kid. So, you can, it can still be found in Illinois. I did a search on that and their website. Uh, you probably can find it in Costco. Uh, I don't know about Jewel or other grocery stores. I haven't seen it. So maybe, and also on, on Amazon.com, maybe you can find it. Okay. So in the beginning of the program, uh, I mentioned that I will talk about the yummy brand from Jewel Food Stores. Also, I'll talk about actor Tony Dow uh, from Leave it to Beaver, who passed away. So first off, we're going to talk about Yummy Brand. Oh, this this brand from Jewel is very memorable than the other brands uh, that Jewel carried. Uh, there was one, Mary Dunbar. There was Blue Brook. Blue Brook excuse me. Also, uh, Hill Farm. Remember that? And uh, there were others. 
and uh, those products are gone. And uh, let's see. And the Yummy brand, I, I try to find some history about that uh, when it started, when it ended, uh, you know, when it discontinued. Uh, the earliest I could find, uh, according to the Chicago Tribune, started in the late 40s. Uh, that's when Jules started carrying the brand. And then uh, it went on to until maybe the late 90s, early 2000s. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So it's uh, that product is not there anymore. So they just have the Jewel brand. If you want to buy us soda or they call it pop or soda, you know, that uh, like I said before in the beginning of the program, you know, uh, it was funny. One time I posted uh, about Canfields. And uh, the ginger ale was good. Uh, I like that too. And uh, also, uh, remember the diet chocolate fudge? You know, there was a uh, there was like a columnist from the Chicago Tribune. Name his name was Bob Green. He wrote a column about that, and he drank that. He liked it. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. And the funny thing is, when once I post this photo on my page, Van Chicago Lab. You get people, you get comments, and people say, "No, it's soda. No, it's pop. No, it's soda pop." <laughs> oh my God, this this is hilarious, you know. I call it to me a soft drink. That's what's that's what they are, you know. But some people say soda or pop. When I visited Boston uh, a long time ago to visit relatives, they didn't call it soda or pop. They call it tonic for some reason. I go tonic, you know, I, I think of hair tonic or like a uh, tonic you put in gin, you know, you like for mixed drinks, but they call it tonic. Some people call it, they don't call it soda. I, I call it soda. They didn't look at me. I was weird. That's because that's Chicago. You know, it was funny. So I guess it depends on the region where you live, what you call it. So uh, it's silly to correct people for that. I mean, come on, it's childish. Anyway, the Yummy brand made, uh, they made soda, and they were famous for their soda and also their ice cream. You know the funny thing about this? I saw an ad for milk, and it said Yummy Milk. And I thought, no. I remember it was Blue Brook. Maybe they, it was first called Yummy, then they changed it to Blue Brook. Uh, the, the yummy soda came in a lot of flavors and, uh, let's see, let me think of, uh, the flavors on top of my head. Uh, they came in root beer, uh, cream soda. People said they liked their cream soda, uh, grape soda. The number one flavor, uh, that was popular, um, it's mentioned on, my, on social media, is black cherry. They said most people said the black cherry was awesome. It, it was a good taste. Uh, you know, I never, I never tasted that. Not black cherry. Uh, I've had the uh, cola and grape soda and orange soda, and uh, they made ginger ale. Uh, they made strawberry. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think of top of my head. Yeah, and they also had diet yummy. Yeah, for. Uh, you know, if you're weight conscious, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't taste, I never tasted that. You know, there was a debate of some people that said, uh, this, uh, this soda was very reasonable. It tasted very good. Other people said that it tasted terrible. I mean, it depends on the person like that, but it was fine for me. I didn't, I didn't care. You know, it was good. And, uh, so yeah, so I remember drinking, uh, Grape, orange, cola. Uh, let's see. Uh, of course, I made root beer. Um, but th did I have root beer? Maybe I did. And uh, I remember my mother shopping at Jewel all the time. And she uh, she bought a couple times, you know, in a six-pack. Or it came in bottles, too. And uh, that was it. And it, the logo of the Yummy were featured, like, uh, two... Uh, like floating heads. So uh, there was a boy and a girl <laughs> like that. And that's funny. And uh, also the yummy brand made ice cream. And let's see, they made uh, all kinds of flavors, chocolate, vanilla, Neapolitan. That's my favorite. Well, actually chocolate and chip is my favorite, but I like Neapolitan. Uh, they made, um, what else? <clears throat> they also made, um, like Twin Pops, they're popsicles. Yeah, I, I never had that. And they also had ice milk, if you like that. 
And uh, I don't know what. And oh, ice cream sandwiches. Oh, I love ice cream sandwiches. Oh, I miss that. I love it. You know, uh, if you have an ice cream sandwich, sometimes uh, you take it out of the freezer. Sometimes it melts a little bit on the edge. And then when you're a little kid, you lick the vanilla side <laughs> so it don't drip on your hands. And sometimes the uh, the sandwich part, it's like a, like a cookie. If it's real crisp, it's good. You know, but if it's real soft, that's fine too. But I like it crunchy. And sometimes when you bite into the ice cream sandwich, you know, all the vanilla ice cream at the edge is just oozed out like that. <laughs> you make a mess. <laughs> I love those. It's great. Yeah, so they made ice cream. Um, like I mentioned, all the flavors. And I can't think of anything else the yummy made. I think it was just ice cream and soda. I I don't think they make cakes. No, I don't think so. I don't remember saying it. So the Yummy Brands uh, discontinued probably the late 1990s or 2000s. I don't know. I, I don't know why uh, they made the decision. I wish I could find some history of Jewel Foods, you know, or ask somebody why they discontinued discontinue that. You know, it was a very popular brand when you were growing up in Chicago, you know, and uh, you don't find many photos of that on social media on you know on the internet you know luckily i found a few you know or sometimes i use ads if you know a clip and post it on advantage chicago land so that's uh that's great so this is fun talking about this brand you know it's a chicago brand you know it's a lot of fun so who knows they might bring it back i doubt it <laughs> but uh, it's a great memory okay Next up, I will talk about Tony Dow, uh, the actor from uh, Leave it to Beaver. Uh, he was not just an actor. He was a film producer, director. He directed a lot of uh, a lot of things, you know, uh, TV movies and TV shows. And he was a sculptor. Uh, I never knew that until uh, recently. So I'll give you a... Uh, I'll give you his biography, and I'll talk about my memories of watching him on Leave it to Beaver. So here we go. And uh, he was born in Hollywood, uh, in California. His, his full name is Anthony Lee Dow, born April 13, 1945. And, uh, you know, he was he had a great physique when he was younger, when as he grew up, because he was trained as a swimmer. And uh, he was a junior Olympics diving champion, which I did not know. So, you know, he was uh, he was talented. And uh, he didn't do much acting when he was a child, not not much. And then uh, and he landed the role at, as Wally Cleaver on Leave it to Beaver, which uh, premiered on October 4th, 1957, which October 4th is my birthday. But I was born... Uh, uh, six years later, <laughs> and uh, but in the there was a pilot, but he did not, uh, he was not in the pilot. And uh, let's see, so let's see, so uh, he had a brother, of course, uh, Beaver Cleaver Theodore by, by Jerry Mathers. Uh, He's famous for that role. He, you know, he's so typecast, and that's all he's known at. But he doesn't mind, <laughs> from what I heard. So that's great. And, of course, uh, you have June, his mother, played by Barbara Billingsley, and also Ward by Hugh Bo Beaumont, which I heard he was a pastor. <laughs> that's what I heard. I think he was, yeah. It was interesting. And um, the show ran from 1957 um, till... Uh, so 1963, and uh, it was it was successful the show, and uh, I never saw when it aired. Uh, I saw starting watching the reruns, and uh, the reruns. I think, according to sources of the Chicago Tribune, uh, started airing in Channel Two on WBBM, probably on Saturdays, and then uh, I don't know if it went on to Channel Nine. Maybe I'm not sure. Or Channel 32. But when I started watching the show, 
It aired on Channel 44, WSNS-TV in the mid-70s, and that's where I started watching the show, and it aired at 5.30 in the afternoon, or sometimes earlier than that. That's when I got really interested in the show, and I started watching it religiously, and I loved it, and I still love it to this day. And uh, I have the DVDs. Uh, actually, I have the first two seasons, so I want to buy the the box set very soon. I want It's still available. And uh, so that's a, it's one of those shows that's iconic and it's, on re, and the reruns are more popular, just like Gilligan's Island, I Love Lucy, uh, The Munsters, The Addams Family, <laughs> all those, you know, all those classic uh, sitcoms, those shows, uh, Star Trek, you know, they live on rerun heaven. Okay. So uh, Tony Dow, um, you know, he appeared all the episodes, and then uh, once he once the show ended in 1963, he appeared in other TV shows, and uh, including My Three Sons, and uh, there was a TV show called Mr. Novak. It was about a uh, high school teacher, and he played one of the students, and he was on five episodes. You know, I saw clips of that on YouTube, and uh, you know, he's much older, he, but he wasn't. He was not high school age when he played. No. And then, uh, then he, then he starred on a soap opera. He was there for a while, and uh, it was only on for about one year. And it was called Never Too Young. You know, he was there. And then he took a break from acting. And then for about three years, he served in the U.S. National Guard. Uh, that's interesting. And then once he, you know, his service was done, he returned to acting. And did other TV shows, <clears throat> excuse me, like um, Love American Style, Mod Squad, The, the Hardy Boys, Emergency, a Knight Rider. So he was there. And uh, he started in a movie. It was called uh, The Kentucky Fried Movie. I remember this movie. It was came out in 1977. And, uh, and he he uh, did a parody of his role, Wally Cleaver, in the movie. And uh, it was funny. And then in the 80s, they did a TV movie, a reunion TV movie, like they always do, you know. And uh, it was, co- and uh, and then they made the, the sequel series, The New Leave It to Beaver. And that starred in about, uh, you know, for a few years. Uh, most of the cast was there. Uh, except uh, Hugh Beaumont, he died in 1983, so uh, or 82, and uh, he wasn't in the he wasn't in the movie, and he wasn't in the series, and that lasted for a while. Also, he made uh, he was a director, and uh, directed a lot of TV shows, and uh, let's see, he did uh, Harry and the Hendersons, remember that show? Babylon Five, D- Star Trek, D. Deep Space Nine. Oh boy, that's 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 uh, interesting. And uh, besides acting and producing or directing, he also did uh, sculpting, and uh, he created abstract bronze sculptures. And I don't know how his work was. I guess it was good. And he he said one time in an interview he loved doing that. He said it was relaxing. Very relaxing job to do that, which I can understand. And uh, let's see. So he um, he had his uh, artwork displayed um, in Paris, um, other galleries, which is great. It really is. Okay. I will be back in one moment. Thank you. <laughs> okay, everyone, I'm back. I'm sorry I had to take a short break. I had a frog in my throat. I had to clear it up. Have some water. <laughs> talk. That's how it happens when I talk too much. Anyway, uh, I was talking about his sculpting. Uh, seemed seemed very talented. And uh, let's see. Uh, he was married twice. He had one child, uh, Christopher. Uh, believe it or not, uh, when his de- death was announced, uh, it was his son that made it official. Uh, what I found out about uh, 
about Tony Dow's personal life, you know, uh, he suffered from clinical depression and I didn't know that. And that's, that's terrible, you know? So, uh, I don't know why. So he's, he got over it, which was fine. And then, uh, then on, let's see, about a couple of months ago, he was diagnosed with liver cancer. And uh, I guess it was, it spread to his body, I, I, from what I heard. And uh, on J- July 26th of this year, uh, they reported his death, but it was an error, you know, because uh, there was a mix up uh, with his wife uh, and the agents, you know. And uh, they post, they made it public, but then uh, he was still alive. But uh, they also said that he was in his final hours. So that was premature. You know, once I found that about, I posted on social media. I posted on my on my Facebook page and uh, on my profile, of course, on Twitter. And then uh, that's embarrassing when you find out that he died. And then he really wasn't, he didn't really die. He was alive, you know, so. So it was carefully. So I took that. I deleted them. I deleted the posts, you know, out of respect. And just waited for, not really waited, but uh, to see if uh, if it's official. And then he died the following day, uh, I think early in the morning on July 27th. And then, uh, then all, everything came, uh, Everything was fine, you know. I love when people say, oh, you know, he's still alive. Why'd you post this? <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> I, I just do, I just, uh, it's the news, you know, you just follow that. You know, sometimes people make mistakes. That's how it is. But, you know, he was, you know, when I found out he passed away, it was very sad because uh, we grew up with him, you know, and we watched him and Jerry Mathers, you know, they were together. Uh, sometimes I love their talks on the shows. They really did because Beaver looked up to his brother, you know, ask him advice, you know. But uh, sometimes Wally was mean to him. Not really. He called him names, but he understood. But, you know, but it, Wally's friends were. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And then, um, you know, like, for example, Eddie Haskell. Oh, God. He was. Everyone had a ha- Eddie Haskell in their lives. I've had several, you know, when I went to school. Like, for example, at Correa School, when I was, that was a grammar school, and also Bogan High School. There were a few of those. And uh, the funny thing is, when they did uh, the sequel to Still the Beaver, it, the Ken Osmond, who played uh, Eddie Haskell, he was still, he was still acting like that. <laughs> uh, he was sneaky. He was a sneaky SOB, you know, and, uh, you know, you remembered uh, he was uh, making fun of the B, uh, got him into trouble, and all this Wally bailed him out. And then when he's uh, sees Beaver's uh, parents, June and Ward, he, he's just, it turns on, the, turns on the switch and he turns on to Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> but they're suspicious, you know, they're not fooled by him, you know, so... It's uh, it's amazing. He he was a real snake in the grass, <laughs> but he was a wonderful man. He really was. And also the other uh, other uh, friend of Wally's was Lumpy, and uh, he was not nasty. He was a nice guy, but kind of uh, aloof, standoffish. But he was great. And uh, you know uh, the actors, uh, the actor Frank Bank, who played uh, Lumpy, he passed away, and also Ken Osmond, which is uh, sad. So, uh, of all the cast members of Leave of the Viewer, I think uh, some are still alive. I, uh, Jerry Mathers is still alive. I know Larry Mondello is. <laughs> you know, and uh, also there was Judy, you know, that girl with the pigtails. She always made, made, made fun of Beaver. She's still alive. You know. Oh, that's, that's sad. Okay. That'll be all for today for this episode. I uh, Discuss the Yummy brand from Jewel Food Stores. Also, a, a, a tribute to actor Tony Dow from Believe It to Beaver. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And uh, the next episode, 153, will be coming next week. Uh, once this episode, which is 152, will be published, it will be available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, Amazon Music. Spotify, Breaker, wherever podcasts are available. 
And uh, also be it will be uploaded on my YouTube channel, Spanish Scotland Story. So be on the lookout for that. Also, tomorrow I will do my other podcast, which is TV Oblivion. That will be episode 12. Uh, I have an interesting show coming, uh, coming up. Just, it's it's ready to go. So I'm just putting the, some final touches. Uh, you can listen to past episodes on all the uh, places that are available to listen. I have I've recorded 11 so far. So uh, that's that's fun to do. Okay, this is your host, Pika Stans for Vanish Chicago and Stories. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. And here's Ray Rayner saying bye-bye for now with a little traveling music. And uh, here's me signing off. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. We have to go. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs>